In Carlingford and County Louth, people are also assessing the damage caused by severe flooding in recent days. Business owners are still clearing away the water, silt and debris that swept through their properties. Water is still streaming from the mountains behind the Trinity Close estate in Carlingford. After severe flooding devastated residents here two nights ago, the community worked around the clock trying unsuccessfully to keep the water from their doors. Today they're dealing with the muddy aftermath. It was about half one last night before we finally got a digger in here to help clear off everything and then the fire service came in to help pump the water away. But as you can see, that's what we got up to this morning again. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Here to survey the damage today was Finance Minister Michael McGrath. People here are focused on the initial clean-up, but the future too. Will I get insurance back again? You know, will I, my, my policies, my premium goes through the roof and then it's happened twice now. Will it happen again? You know, the, we need the council to come and put proper drain clearage in. A number of pubs were among the worst hit. Staff working hard to clean up, wondering how and when they will reopen. I need money. It's the first thing. I need money and we need time to get the place cleaned and dried out to get, hopefully we're trying to get open for the weekend. We can't flush a toilet. So until, until the sewers of the village in the area is cleared, uh, we, we'll not be able to open. The government has promised enhanced flood supports for businesses will be made available in Louth, but how to prevent this type of event is also being considered. All of the evidence from uh, science from climate change uh, points to increased frequency of such events and that does mean a different response and a sustained response in terms of adaptation measures and also mitigation. Work is still ongoing here to pump away some of this flood water and the last thing anyone wants to see here tonight or in the coming days is more rain. Laura Hogan, RTE News. Well, Jenny O'Sullivan joins us now from Cork. Jenny, Storm Ciarán is expected to track to the south of Ireland, but...